All right, guys. So I had a spiritual awakening. It was 2019 in August. So that was the moment when I, uh, I, uh, I woke up to the fact that I had been involved with the narcissist for the last couple of years. So that was the most, I could say, most life-changing moment I ever experienced in my entire life. Me waking up and getting involved, finding out that I'd been involved with the narcissist. That was my awakening moment. Now, in that particular time, the narcissist was not at home. The narcissist was away from the vicinity. I was alone at home. So that's when the moment happened. Until this moment, I give gratitude to God, to the universe, that I was actually alone in that particular moment. Because I believe if I had awakened around a narcissist, it was going to be very dangerous. So I was blessed to awaken when nobody was around in that vicinity. Now, when the narcissist returned, a couple of hours later, I think it was two or three hours later, the narcissist returned. And the narcissist knew that it was business as usual. The narcissist thought that, oh, this was business as usual. You know, this was my, uh, my subject. Because, you know, the narcissist, they have you as an empath. And they treat you like prey. Whenever they're hungry, they come to feed. Okay, they're hungry, they come to feed. They're hungry, they come to feed. So they are feeding off of your energy. And most of the times they're doing this without you knowing it. You're not conscious about it. So the nurses returned in the vicinity that evening and started doing what they had always done, pushing my buttons, okay? Now, when the nurses was pushing the buttons, they realized that I wasn't reacting. So they hadn't actually known, they didn't know that I had awakened at that particular moment. And there are some spiritual cords that I had broken. So you see, because when you are waking up, there are some cords spiritually. I've done, I've done a whole video on these cords. There are some spiritual cords that you break in the spiritual realm between you and the narcissist. Because I've told you guys this whole thing is spiritual warfare, okay? So the earlier you start to understand this is when your healing starts to happen very faster because you are breaking some cords. There are some spiritual cords. They have been hooked spiritually into your energy. And you have been a power supply for the longest period of time. So when the nurses came back, the nurses didn't know that I had actually unhooked myself from their energy and there's nothing they could do to trigger me. So there is no way I could actually, there's no way they could push a button and they could trigger my personal energy in that moment. So what really happened in this particular time? They came around in the house, started pushing a button, pushed the second one, no reaction. Pushed the third one, no reaction. It's like, for example, trying to start the car. You try the first time, the car won't start. The second time, the car won't start. So that, that's, that, that's the way it would feel. Energetically, that's how it would feel. And the nurses, that's when they figured out that there's something had changed. This particular individual had switched. Their energy had switched, and they couldn't understand why, because... I kept this thing to myself, so I did not tell them that I had got this big awakening. Even in that particular moment, I didn't know what an awakening was. So, eventually, I sat down with the narcissist and I told the narcissist, listen, this whole game has been going on for ages. We have been struggling here and there, back and forth, shouting over the place, all over the place, screaming and whatever. It, I told, the, I told the nurses, this is it. It's, uh, it. it's not worth it. Okay? I told the nurses, this is not what we signed up for when I was getting married. This was, this was not part of the agreement. So it is time for us to break away from this uh, marriage. And, uh, you know, it's time for us to move our own way. So that is the moment when I got my power back. And I was able for the very first time in so many years to even face the nurses for the very first time and tell the nurses that this was it. It was the end. I was not taking any more of it. It was time for me to leave. So I picked up a few belongings. And in a few days, I was out of this, uh, the, that vicinity. Now, there is a reason why I'm telling you this story. I'm driving you guys towards the person they call the awakened empath. 
if you know an empath in your vicinity that is spiritually awakened, I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, if you really know what you want, you can better stay away from that person because that person, they are going to break you in a way that you've never been broken before. If you know that you don't have any proper intentions for them, you don't have any good, any meaningful intentions for them, you don't have any right intentions for them, those particular individuals are going to break you to a, in a way you have not seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, those individuals, number one, they are awakened. They are educated. They are empowered. And on top of that, they are protected. There is no being on this universe is as protected as the awakened empath. Let me, let me even just talk about the empath in general. Because you see, an empath has always been protected for various reasons. Why is the empath protected? Because the empath, they are here to, sh to shine God's light into the universe. So those kind of individuals, they come with protection. Is why you're supposed to be very careful when you're facing or you're trying to deal with those kind of individuals. Because those individuals, they will see everything. You may try to come around them with fake intentions, with uh, you know your, your lousy motives and everything, and you may try to push their buttons. They'll be watching you. They'll be reading your body language. They'll be reading your energy. They'll be hearing every small detail, even the things you're not saying. They're going to be hearing everything. So if your person is toxic because you're used to running around people's lives and manipulating their energies and getting, you know, siphoning their energies and doing all these dirty things to them, you're going to waste a lot of time on somebody they call the awakened empath. When it comes to narcissists, because you remember that those awakened empaths, one of the reasons even, even as to why they are awakened is because they have dealt with a very huge number of narcissists in their lives. They know their game. They know the books they read. They know what they say. They know how they move. They know each and everything about the narcissist because they are awakened. Not only that, they have been educated and empowered. So they know the game plan of the narcissist. There is no narcissist, it doesn't matter who you are, and you really know that you're a narcissist. There is no way you're ever going to come to those individuals and you think that you're going to win. It will not happen. They will break you, they'll put you in your own place, and they'll be on their way. Because you see, one thing that narcissists don't, narcissists don't understand about awakened empaths, and even sometimes empaths in general, is that those individuals, they are quiet for a reason. They are quiet, they are silent, they are composed, they are very polite, they have a reason behind this. That is because those, those individuals, they do not feed off of chaos. They do not feed off of, uh, you know, those kind of arguments, chaos and all the, all the turmoil and stuff like that. They do not feed off of that. They are very peaceful people, is why you will always find empaths in very quiet and peaceful places. That is where they feel at home. And that is what narcissists do not want to understand. So whenever they come around you, you're a very peaceful person. You don't want any problem. You want to stay in your own lane, do your own thing. You don't want to bother anyone. So they come in around and start, you know, playing around with your energy. And that is where they realize most of the times that they have pushed the wrong button because they are pushing a button of a person that they know they should have left in their own place, doing their own thing. They were supposed to look the other way and do their own thing. And that's when they realize they have done a mistake. So when it comes to empaths, what I'm trying to tell you, to tell you ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, the empath may not have a lot of power because they may be, for the longest period of time, asleep. So they don't know who they are. They are just evolving. They are going through their lessons and whatever. They are having their own experiences here and there. But the moment the empath awakens, ladies and gentlemen, that person, the moment you figure out, you know that they are awakened. Is the reason that's why I told you guys, when you awaken the empath, uh, when you awaken, when the empath awakens, the narcissist will know. I've done the whole video on this before. The narcissist will feel there is something around that person they cannot, they cannot reach. They, there is like, they can feel like this wall of protection around them. They cannot actually penetrate their energy. Regardless of what they do, they can use all the tricks they have, ever, they, they have ever thought about in their entire life and they cannot push even a button for those individuals because anything they do is not working. That's what they call 
and awaken the empath. So those people, they are like, they have this radar. It's like a radar. So they, they walk through life, especially post-awakening, and they're going to be walking through life like a radar. So whatever they're going around, it's, it's like they, they, their scanners are, are, are way up there. They're like scanning their environments. They're scanning vicinities. They're scanning their neighborhoods. They're scanning around because they are going to see very quickly who a narcissist is. And should they identify that narcissist, they will know what to do. But normally, it is not in a way that they are trying to cause problems or start, start up arguments or uh, because you've seen a narcissist, so you're going to go there and start pushing the buttons and here and there and start to, you know, causing all the commotion and everything. They will just watch everything. They are scanning their, they are scanning their environments just for their own protection. They are not scanning their environments to go, to go on the attack. Unlike the narcissist. The narcissist, sometimes they want to go on the attack. But the empath will scan their environments just so that they can be able, when, when, they, when need be, they are ready to protect themselves against those kind of energy vampires. Because you see, an awakened empath is a person who is very much aware of their energy. Not only that, they are also aware of how to protect themselves from this kind of energy vampires because they have got this awareness that, awareness that energy vampires exist. They are here, they are everywhere, they are all around us. But you know, when you have this awareness, it's like you know the right way to move, who to bring in, who to talk to, you know who to engage with, those kind of things. You don't just allow anybody into your energy because you also understand that those energy vampires do exist. And they are not meant to be around you. So you normally have a way of trying your best to protect yourself. Okay? So that's what really happens when you're talking about awakened empaths. Those people, they are, they are the people that you want to you wanna leave, uh, stay out of their way. You just stay out of their lane, watch them from a distance, let them be. Because you can come around those people, they are going to read you like a book. And if you force them, because this is something what they do, they've got this superpower. So by awakened empaths, I may be simply talking about the super empaths. So those guys have got some kind of a superpower. That when they activate that superpower within them, they can send those demons running, ladies and gentlemen. They will send those demons parking. So this is something they don't want to use often. There is something they don't want to activate because it is, it is in there. That energy is in there. But they rarely activate that energy because they know that energy is very dangerous for a narcissist. The moment they activate that power within them, they are going to send that narcissist parking. They are going to injure that narcissist in a way that narcissist has never seen before. But normally they don't do that until they feel they have got the need to do it. It is the last resort they can, do, they can use when it comes to protecting their, themselves. Because those guys, they are going to protect themselves and their energy at every cost. And there's nothing you can do to stop them. So for, them, for the longest period of time when, I was been, when I've been dealing with these narcissists, uh, those are the kind of things I've seen on my journey, especially post-awakening. I've been able to understand that. As an awakened empath, you are empowered, okay? You are very empowered, you are very aware, you are very alert, you are very protected, okay? There's nothing, you cannot, you cannot miss even the smallest details. You might have missed a lot of details before when you were a sleep empath, because I've told you guys, there's always a difference between a sleep empath and the awakened empath. So the sleep empath, normally they may have missed a lot of details. The awakened empath, they will not miss any small detail. They will see everything. Those people, they, are like, they have got like a spiritual radar around them. They can either feel, they may smell something, they may see it, they may actually intuitively know it, even without knowing why. But they may sometimes sense there is an energy vampire in that vicinity and there is something they need to do about it. If they have to, they will know what to do. Is what they call an awakened empath. Those people, they are very dangerous. So for the narcissists, dealing with an awakened empath is a waste of time. You know, it's a complete waste of time. There's nothing you're going to do. There's nothing you will tell them. There's nothing you will say because they are going to hurt you even sometimes without intending to. They are going to really hurt you. If, you're, if you know that you're a narcissist, they are going to break you. So you know that you're toxic. Look the other way. Okay, don't bother yourself with those kind of individuals. Look the other way. If you know that you don't have any plans, any intentions, you just want to come around and do those games you've always been playing with people, look the other way, ladies and gentlemen. You have no business with those individuals. They are going to break you. You don't want a situation for yourself whereby you may wake up one morning and you may realize that you cannot even get out of bed because those guys, they are going to break you in that way you have never seen before. That's what they call the awakened empath. They are very powerful. 
stay, stay out of their way, stay out of their lane, let them be, just do you and they will do them. They have nothing to do with you if you're toxic. Relationships, doesn't matter. Friendships, the same thing. Family, and awakened empath is even capable of detaching from their own family members because they know the power they have got within them, within them and they also know that family, uh, toxic families also do exist. And for them, it doesn't matter how related you are to them. They are going to detach from you without thinking twice. It doesn't matter who you are. Relationship, family, friends, school, I don't know, landlords, friends, it doesn't matter. They are going to detach from you. They are going to leave you where you are and they're going to be on their way. That's what they call the awakened empath. They are very dangerous. Stay out of their way. Stay out of their lane. You can do you and they will do them. Okay? So let's not think about the video, guys, in the comment section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me if you would like to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Desmond signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.